Hey guys, Rob or Panics here, and welcome to something a little bit different. Similar in the sense that you're watching me design, but different in the sense that it's an insightful, serious commentary. Uh, so I'm going to try and be serious as, as I can. I'm going to try and offend as few people as I can. Um, but remember guys that this is my opinion. I'm not asking anybody else to share it. I'm just sharing it with you. Don't feel that you have to um, battle it out in the comments. In fact, um, I'd ask that you don't put your own opinions in the comments. Um, or don't degrade other people's opinions. Because it, these are serious topics and um, it's things that people go to war over. So let's not start uh, little fights for nothing. Um, so what you're watching before I uh, kick off with the, the real talk is um, something that's quite close to me. It's uh, a design for my next tattoo. Um, it is a prayer that reads, Ave Maria, piena di grazie, il Signore è con te. Tu sei benedetta fra tutte le donne, e benedetto è il, tu f è, è il frutto del tuo seno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso è nell'ora della nostra morte, in ricordo. Now what that means is, it's the Hail Mary. I don't know it in English, actually. I only know it in Italian. Um, it's the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, yada, 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 that bit. But at the end, instead of saying Amen, it says in ricordo, which means in memory or in memory of. And it is a direct tribute to my late grandmother, my Nonna Maria, um, who made a huge impact on my life. Uh, a huge, huge impact on my life, along with my nonno, uh, who's my Italian grandfather, nonno's Italian grandmother. Um, but it's not just a tribute to her, it's a tribute to all four of them. Um, I don't want to, well, I'd, I'd love to get four, four, of, four for them, but uh, there's cost, and also I don't want to get too many just yet. So this is a tribute to all four of them, it's a prayer that I attribute to all of them, but it's um, the specific reference is my nonna Maria. Um, they are some of the reasons why I'm the man I am today, and I'm I'm so gr so I'm so lucky that I was able to spend so much time with uh, my granddad, who died when I was about fourteen, fifteen. Um, he's been such a huge influence. He was such a huge influence in my life, and he's one of the reasons I'm so sh as strong-willed as I am today. Uh, my gran, who's still with us, but recently had a stroke. Uh, <laughs> she is one of the hardest women you will ever meet but one of the most caring, and I, I count myself unbelievably lucky that I, I got to meet her and that I got to spend so much time with her while she was well, and even while she's not well, I still get to spend time with her and talk to her, and uh, she's one of the most amazing women I have ever met. Uh, my nonna Maria was also one of the most caring people. She worried about everything, never herself though, just about everybody else. Oh, is he okay? Is he has he eaten enough? Has he got enough clothes on? Is he going to be cold? Uh, just everything. She was one, She is probably one of the most caring people that I ever, I've ever had the pleasure of meeting and better still having had as a grandparent. Um, and my nonno is probably the strongest man I know. He's 80, 85. And three days ago, four days ago, we were hauling huge, great, chunks of timber and rocks from his garage into his car because um, he's had some not so great news and I think he's he's trying to clear out the house a little bit um, mainly because he's got loads of stuff that just needs to go but also because I think he's I think he's worried that he's nearing the end and he wants to make it easier for us after he goes uh, bless him so um, I I find it quite difficult to keep up with him he comes around and he helps us with the gardening. We've got a beautiful garden and it's a tribute to both my father and my non because he helps us no end. He loves it. He, come, he comes and chops down trees. Um, we've got grapes in our garden that he grew in his till they were healthy enough to transfer. And, and the truth is, I, I've been so lucky um, to have my grandparents um, that, honestly, I don't, know, I don't know what I would be like without them. And... I'm worried that there will well there will come a time where I don't have them anymore, uh, and lately the news that I've been given has 
put a lot of that in perspective and I, I've realised just how not short life can be because they're both 85 and a, like Grand's 87 Nonno's 85 with the, this, uh, they've lived such full and enviable lives I'm I'm so if I if I if I get to their age and I've done half the things that they've done and I'm half uh half the man he is and ha- half as caring and amazing as my grand is then I'll be doing really well um so yeah that that's essentially what this the, this tattoo tribute is to is to my grandparents and to to the wonderful upbringing that I've had and how 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 lucky I am not everybody gets that opportunity and I I realize now age nearly 21 just how lucky and how influential they've been um but I also wanted to talk a little bit about religion. Um, it's an interesting topic. And I often get messages uh, from fans asking me whether I'm religious or not. Um, as you can see, the cross I'm designing from, you might have seen the live stream of this. The cross I'm actually designing from is a cross I was given by my nonna for my 18th birthday. I'm just putting it around my neck now. Um, I don't take it off. Rather, I take it up to go in the shower, and that's it. Sometimes I don't sleep with it um, because I I don't know. I get a bit paranoid; they're gonna choke. But it's a cross that I wear every day, and I've worn every day since she died. Um, and it it was a present from the both of them, and I'm still so grateful for it. But I'm not religious in the sense that I go to church every weekend. Um, I'm of the view that you don't have to be in a special place to be any closer to God. God is, God is my special place. He's, well, I use the word he because it's, it's difficult to quantify. I don't, I don't think of him as as something, as, as someone sitting up there. That, that's absurd. I, I don't, I don't share that view. Um, what I believe, and this is again, this is my be- this is my belief. I don't expect anybody to sh- to share this opinion. Uh, some of you might, but I don't. I'm never ever going to force this on anybody. Um, what? It's difficult to explain everything around us. Science can do a hell of a lot, but there's still still things that go unexplained. The biggest one is the creation of everything. Now, people attribute it to the Big Bang, and I don't disagree with that. Scientists have proven that the Big Bang happened. And I'm, I'm, not, um, I'm not anti-scientific. In fact, I'm quite pro-scientific. I'm, I'm a big one in proof, and if I can't prove it, then I, I find it difficult to believe it. But it boils down to, even since the Middle Ages, people have used religion as a way of proving, so- proving something that they're unable to prove. Oh, he's ill. I must be a uh, a demon. Purely because they didn't have the medicine or the diagnosis or the understanding of what was making the person ill. Uh, When the plague first came out, they thought it was um, the Black Death sent from God. But actually, it was just rats. And that's the truth is, religion will always be used to explain things that we can't explain. Oh, it's religion. Oh, it's it's, it's God. But I, I, I buy into it. Because there is... God is just another word for an almighty power. There is something out there, something ephemeral, something not ephemeral, ethereal, something all all being and omnipotent, something that is there. <laughs> it has to be because the big bang happened from when two particles collided. Where did they come from? Stuff doesn't science has yet to prove something coming from nothing. And I think until they prove that that is where my God starts. That is where my almighty power starts. Is something something at the beginning, some almighty power, some something. And and for me I'd rather be ignorant. I'd rather have the the belief that it's God. But it's not just the the how the world was created that I find um me believing in, but it's also I don't believe in miracles. I don't believe Jesus walked on water. In fact, I don't believe... I, I believe that Jesus existed. It's, it's very heavily proven that there was a character, uh, a historic character by the name of Jesus and who, who behaved in that fashion. But the truth is, anybody could have written that back then. History is written by the victor. And I don't 
believe that the Bible is a book to read as a story. I believe it's a, a series of metaphors to live your life by. A series of, of lessons. Don't wrong your neighbour. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Um, turn turn the other cheek. It's that there are a series of of analogies that you can apply to your own life. Um, when you're wronged at work, or someone is bullying you at school, or something like that, and it's it's a series of stories that you can apply to your life, but not necessarily read as as literal truth. And these again, I I say again, these are my entire opinions. Uh, What I don't appreciate and what I don't agree with is people going to war for their religion. People fighting and and taking other people's lives because they believe something else. That's wrong. Regardless of what religion that is, whether or not you're Christian, uh, Muslim, or, or anything. Violence on account of your religion is wrong. Violence on any account is wrong. You shouldn't be able to use religion to justify it. And I think that that's where people need to take a step forward is that it's a difficult one. I think people are people out there are are ignorant, myself included, as to other people's beliefs. But I think everybody should live in a multicultural cosmopolitan environment where everybody can can get along regardless of what you believe. And I don't think any religion should have a mandate to destroy other religions. Because at the end of the day, there is some almighty power out there. Whether or not you believe it's a god or it's a scientific thing, there is something out there. Because we are a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of everything. Uh, of, of the overarching everything in existence. Because you look at those the photos that show you the biggest star in uh ever <laughs> and it's huge makes makes us look like uh, a speck of dust in our world so the truth is that we are relatively small in that um and i i i believe i pray i do pray because because the truth is i'd i'd like to believe i'd like to believe that there's a god um and that off and that when i pass away that i do get to spend my time with uh the people that i've lost well, the people I never knew, I lost my, my godmother. She died when I was two in a plane in a plane crash. I never met her. Um, she was a, a, a great friend of my mother's and my father's. And uh, she, she, well, she still is my godmother, regardless of whether or not uh, she's alive. I never met her. Never. Well, I met her in the two years I was alive, but I never met her as, a, as a, an understanding adult. I'd love to meet her again, and I'd love to believe that there is something out there. I don't know whether there is, and nobody can ever know, regardless of what a book that you read on a Sunday says. If the book says it, it doesn't necessarily make it the truth. Um, but it doesn't make. It, it, but just because it it can't be the truth doesn't mean it isn't the truth. You never know. I I won't know until until that day. Um, and even then, it might just end. It might be it. it. Might be like going to sleep and never waking up again. When you're in such a deep sleep, you don't you don't remember your dreams. It just might be like that. It's difficult. Um, I'm, I'm not one to get bogged down by these things. Sometimes I find myself sitting and thinking, like, why am I here? What, what's my purpose? But actually, more often than not, I'm playing COD or I'm designing something. And, and the truth is, I don't let religion or anything like that or any uh, beliefs bog me down or, or weigh my weigh my opinions down. Um, I would, I would love, I would love for there to be something uh, a light at the end of the tunnel after you after you pass away. But who knows? Um, I think everybody has a right to believe what they want to believe, whatever religion you are, or whatever creed. Uh, and also, you have a right to to be agnostic and atheist. I don't I don't disagree with people um, shunning not shunning shunning's a bad word. Not uh, not even uh, non believing is a bad word as well. Having their own opinion, I don't I don't disagree with uh, agnostics either, um, because everyone's. Uh, <laughs> Excuse your words. Um, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. If you don't believe, then that's fine. That's not. Um, that's not a bad thing. So, uh, yeah, that's 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 pretty much that. Um, like I say, I pray. Um, mainly, I don't know. I don't only pray to God. I pray to. I pray to my nonna and my granddad. Um, because 
I'd like to believe that they're up there somewhere. Up there. It's, it's a figure of speech there. But, like, physically, Grandad was cremated. So he's uh, in a, an urn. And my nonna was buried in, at the cemetery. And the truth is, I don't go often enough to see her, and I wish I did. Um, but being close to them physically is no different to me talking to them now. And I, I honestly hope that they they are watching over me. Um, not in a physical sense, but when I think about doing something, when I use the phrase watching over me, when, when I think about doing something, I think, I think about the consequences, but I also think like, should, like, what, what would, what would Nonna think? Or what would Grandad think? Or what would my parents think? And that is guidance in the sense that I look at what they might think and then act accordingly. So they are in, they are guiding me, but through how they acted when they were alive. If you understand what I mean, I'm not. I'm not suggesting they talk to me. Um, I'm not. I've never had that experience, and I. I don't think I ever will because I don't believe that 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 will happen. But I dream about them and I think about them, and they guide me in their actions from when they were alive. And that that's that that's probably the the, the biggest extent in in my belief. Um, now my brother's completely different. One of my brothers, I don't know what his religious views are. Um, my youngest brother, I, I know that he misses our grandparents dearly, and I don't know, maybe he prays to them, I don't, I'm not sure, but the other, my middle brother is a very, not strict, um, Church of um, Church of England, Church Protestant? Uh, Anglican, Anglican, um, but he goes to church, and he goes to Bible study groups, and I think he just finds it interesting, and, and it stimulates him, so I, I've got no problem with that either. Um, we we were all brought up Catholic, but he very quickly before he was confirmed, he became he began going to the um, the Anglican Catholic uh, Anglican uh, Church of England Church, um, and actually they're, they're a fantastic church. If anybody that goes to Saint Thomas's Church is going is is watching this, they're amazing. I love going to, to I go at Christmas and I go at Easter because it's a family thing, and because the people there are so friendly and so fantastic, and so open to just sh- to just love and <laughs> and enjoy life so i guess those those are other views um i don't agree with the people that just go to i, I don't agree with a lot of the catholic th- views that you can buy your way into heaven or that re- you can do what you like and then repent and you're fine that i don't agree with that but again my opinion uh, it's a it's a difficult one, and, and like I say, I think everyone should be entitled to their own. I've just I, I've asked on Twitter and, uh, and on other places, and people have said that they are relatively interested in in what I had to say. So here it is: these are my views on religion, um, what my tribute tattoo to my grandparents will be, and just generally things that have influenced me. Um, if you guys have enjoyed this or you think that I've brought up some interesting points, feel free to comment. Like I, I, I said earlier, I don't comment your views, but don't belittle other people's opinions. If anybody makes any even tiny amount, uh, t- even bordering on controversial comments, I will, I'll take them down because the truth is nobody should be persecuted for what they believe. Um, everybody's entitled to their own belief. So if you want to post what you what you believe in um and you can fit it in the character limit then go for it feel free to if you want a more interesting discussion with me or you you, you agree with some of my points and want to chat to me about it feel free to inbox me or tweet me and I'll, I'll, I'll more than happily chat to you about it and if you think this is a sort of video that maybe once in a while you quite like watching and sitting down actually listen to something serious rather than me gerbil on about um ridiculous things then i'm more than happy to make these i i I just need topics and and interesting things to talk about. I used to do these on my old gaming channel. Um, So I'm more than happy to sit down and do these. These these are serious views and I'm I'm of a mature age where I can look at things subjectively and objectively um, and make interesting uh, interesting discussions about them. So if you have enjoyed this, uh, be sure to show it some love. Um, Please don't dislike it if you're not, if you don't agree with my opinion on religion. Um, I'd love, I'd, I'd rather dislike, I'd rather you disliked it if you didn't enjoy the video or you didn't think it was interesting or anything like that. If you did think it was interesting, show it some love and show it to all your friends and, and get it out there. Um, and yeah, basically that's, that's pretty much it. 
Uh, I'm really, really glad that you guys have listened to me um, for this long. If you've come this far, 20 minutes, it's a long one. Um, so thank you very much. I've been Rob or Panics, um, and I hope to bring you some more interesting discussions in the near future. Thank you very much for watching and sharing in my in my opinions and my tributes to my loved ones. Goodbye. <laughs>